you can define variables as you like in Golang. For example, i, j, and k in this case. It's best to use variables like i, j, and k, which are single letter variables, as incrementers in for loops. The reason is that there's an unwritten rule in Golang which states that uh, if the variable is going to be short-lived, then it's best to denote it using a single letter. But if it's uh, going to be used multiple number of times, then it's best to have more context to the variable. For example, first name in this case. Now you'll notice that in first name, f is small and n is capital. That's because this is called as a camel case notation. This is quite common. And this makes the variable name more readable. Now, if I say here, if I print the value of first name here, then you'll see that it'll say that i, j, and k are not are declared but not used. So this is uh, a Golang feature which you know makes sure that you uh, always declare uh, define a variable when you uh, declare it. So we'll have to output the value of i, j, and k to solve this error. So now everything will work perfectly, right? And you won't get those undefined errors that you get with JavaScript in Golang. So I hope this makes sense and thank you for watching.